Once you've created all of your devices, it's time to start setting up some control macros. Let's go into our BC4 in the project tree and find the BC4 macro section. Expand that, and you can see the variables, macros, and match strings. Uh, for now, let's just concentrate on the macros section. As you can see, there are already two macros in place. Macro number one is a startup macro, which is going to run every time the BC4 is powered up. Uh, that can be useful for initializing some user variable states or something like that. Macro number two runs in a continuous loop whenever the BC4 is not busy doing something else. This could be useful for uh, continuously looking for an input state change or a relay state change or anything of that nature and triggering other actions based on those evaluations. Now let's look at adding a new macro. So go to the Macros section, right click it, and click Add a New Macro. With that macro selected, we can click the Edit button in our macro window and rename it. Let's just call this one System Power On. And we can go up to any of our devices, like the IR devices we've already created, and start dragging those commands down into our macro. Once you've dragged in all the commands that you want, you click Save, and there's your macro. Now, what if we wanted to add a delay between commands? Any macro line, you can just right-click, click Edit. You can see there's three tabs. The Action tab, which defines the command action you're doing, uh, the Evaluation tab, and the Delay tab. In this case, let's we'll put a two-tenths of a second delay, 0 0.2 seconds, and click OK. And you can see now in our macro window that we've added that delay. Now, as you notice, there was an Evaluations tab. And here, you could evaluate the state of the built-in temperature sensor, uh, one of the relays, a user variable, or anything like that to add even more uh, power and flexibility to your macro lines. Uh, once you've, you know, set up all the macro lines and commands that you wanted for that macro, just click Save, and now that macro is saved. You could go on creating more macros like favorite channels and activities, watch DVD, watch satellite, things like that. Um, now, in addition to cr controlling IR devices, um, you can drag in relay commands, set the relay on, set the relay off, um, pulse the relay, and when I dragged in the pulse, you can see it brought up the edit macro line window because there's a configurable parameter for that command, and that's the pulse length. Uh, it's defaulted to 100 milliseconds, but you could change that to something else. And I click OK. Once all your macros are uh, set up just the way you'd like them, click Upload Project. It's going to compile all those macros and actually start uploading them to the BC4 itself. Now, once the BC4 has all the macros stored in it, the macros can be triggered by any of our integration partners like iPhone apps or PC-based home automation software, even an IR remote using our RS-232 IR receiver, or even one of our custom graphical user interfaces, uh, which our project editor software allows you to create. And that'll be the subject of our next tutorial.